Drawing hair can be a super, super difficult task and a big pain if you have to draw each individual strand. Hey guys, it's Kai. Welcome back to Sets by Kai. And today we're learning how to make a brush you can actually use to make drawing and painting hair much, much easier. Um, I did a couple, I did a, a, bit, a bit of searching around since I've been uh, doing a lot with my, uh, with my drawing tab lately. And I found uh, this nice hairbrush here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to recreate something like this. If you can get a quick look over on the right hand of the screen, um, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new image. So file, new, we're going to create this somewhere about, let's just do 300 by 300, a perfect, uh, a perfect square. Uh, excuse me if I'm a bit fumbly in this uh, tutorial because I have my tablet, my keyboard, and my microphone in a very small space. Um, but we're going to do it up anyway. So... We're going to choose a medium hard brush. We're going to do like uh, the second hardest brush you have, something something like that, I guess. All right, so we're going to actually turn off my size and my pressure sensitivity. So we're going to have no pressure sensitivity at all. If you're using a tablet, you're going to want, going to want to go with dynamics off, and we're just going to paint a couple circles, something like that. So uh, we don't need it to be uh, very pressure sensitive. So we're going to drag our size about maybe 50, 50, and then turn the opacity down on our brush, not on our layer, on our brush to like 70. Something like that will look good. Something like that will look good. And we'll actually mess around with the aspect ratio. We'll put that up to like, uh, ooh, not that much, like 0 0.2. 0 0.2, yeah, 0 0.2 looks good. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a new, we're gonna create a new um, dynamic brush. So I'm gonna click, click this new right here. Um, if you don't have that, that tab, it's gonna be add tab, and that's gonna be paint dynamics. Yeah, paint dynamics. Um, let me close that real quick. So add tab paint dynamics and this will come up. Um, and what we're going to do is we hit new. And when we hit new, this untitled right here will take us to this page. And this page we will do um, right here says R A, R R A N. That's for random. So we're going to do random, uh, random opacity and random angle. So now when we paint, you should be able to tell that the opacity changes as well does the angle uh, on random randomness. So we're also going to do random size. Yeah, random size looks pretty good. We're going to do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a bit of painting. Um, just nothing too nothing too crazy. Just something like a couple circles in a couple places. We're going to do a couple light ones at first like this. Circles, just something like that. Maybe we'll drag our brush size down to like 30. Maybe get a few more in there. Something like that. Nothing, Nothing too much. And then we'll go back through, turn our opacity back up a little bit, and then we'll kind of go over those areas we want to be a bit darker um, with a softer brush. Let's use a softer brush for that. We'll drag that up about right there, something right there, maybe a little bit right there. That looks looks pretty good. Yeah, let's, let's test that out. All right, so now we can turn our brush back to my dynamic brush, which I will do a video video on in the, f in the future if you guys would like to see that. But for now, we're just going to go back to our regular brush. This looks pretty good. So what we're going to do to save this as a new brush is we're going to hit uh, Copy, Edit. Um, we're going to Edit, and then we're going to go Copy Visible. We're going to hit New over here. In this, oh, We're going to go Edit, Copy Visible, and then we're going to open up a new, a new image. Let's just go 128720. Right, and then when we do this, we'll paste our new brush in by going up to Edit, Paste as New Brush. Now, as you can tell, when we draw with this, we have our our uh, our brush. But the weird thing is, is that it looks all like spotty. It needs to be a smooth line so we can draw hairs. That's the problem. So the way we fix this is we go down to Spacing down here, and we'll turn this on to like one. And now you can tell we have the correct amount of spacing, but we still have a bit of problems. So we'll go, maybe it's a, little, it's a bit laggy. So go back to two spacing instead of one. And then we'll delete that and try it again. Two spacing, two looks better. Yeah, two looks better. And with that, we will also go to our dynamic brush settings and we'll undo random. And we'll check opacity and size. So now we have something that looks a bit more like hair, right? Um, so what, what this is, that's our hairbrush right there. Just, you want to test around with, the, the biggest selling point for this is the actual painting technique. You want to go in, um, in short little bursts like this. You got to take, look at some, uh, references of hair and then go back and, uh, and look at those and then paint afterward. But yeah, that's pretty much it to make our custom hairbrush. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then...